In 2012, the Clark Middle School Garden was created through the initiative of a parent, David Burley, and former agriculture science teacher, Cheryl Henson. It started as a plot of land in front of the school, but over the past years, the front garden has expanded to four plots and also includes a greenhouse. In previous years, no one was specifically in charge of the garden, but as of March of last year, Wick Pritchard, a volunteer gardener for AmeriCorps Vista, has been able to dedicate his time to the garden. A lot of schools have school gardens, but sometimes the teachers don't have time for them because of their busy schedules, and sometimes the parents um, don't have time to volunteer, so they figured the easiest way to do it would be to get a volunteer, and that's me. So I'm here. I'm a, I'm a paid volunteer, but I'm a um, volunteer in service to America. It's the Domestic Peace Corps, so I fight poverty by teaching children how to garden. Pritchard works with students doing a range of gardening activities. Uh, the typical planting, weeding, uh, harvesting, washing the harvest. Uh, we build things, we build the goat shed. Um, we constructed sinks to wash the vegetables in. And that's what we've done. On top of the gardening activities, composting has become an important part of the garden as well that has even been able to provide soil for use in the garden. And then composting in the lunchroom. So every day I stand beside the trash cans and uh, I say, hey, don't put that fruit in the trash can, I'll take the fruit. The produce grown provides numerous opportunities, including pickling and preserving, preparing meals for guests, volunteers, or teachers, and serving in the garden bar in the cafeteria some Fridays. We cook with it in this class and in Family Consumer Science in our food labs. So we made, like today, they made kale chips in here, microwave kale chips. The garden has also become an important part of the Family Consumer Science class, where in class, students are able to take what has been grown and use it to cook. A lot of what I do deals with hands-on actually, like, cooking food and eating food. And um, we're very fortunate here to have this you know, amazing team of people who have got this garden. The garden is not only affecting those taking the agriculture and family consumer science class. Little by little, more classes are being involved. It's not at all just ag, and then it's not at all just ag and FCS now. It's recently, Earth Day, um, there were classes, I think all of sixth grade classes planted plants. Some students take away a sense of fulfillment from working in the garden. I feel accomplished about it because we actually grow it and then we eat it. It makes me feel so proud of myself. It also, like, you know where it's coming from, so it's not like it's not like it's been like processed or grown with chemicals. It's really like organic. We don't use any pesticides. The garden will transition into summer with the summer kitchen core, where students can come work in the garden along with volunteers. It begins a week after school gets out. Students come in Monday through Thursday at 8 and work in the garden. Then on Thursday, they take what they have harvested and prepare a lunch for others. We've already, we're already starting our tomato plants with these kids. We're planting our tomatoes, our peppers, eggplants, basil. And so that's kind of transitioning. We're getting the garden kind of planted now. In the summertime, our students will take care of the garden, continue to weed, take care of water, harvest, and then we'll take all that harvest that's being planted now and we'll run our restaurant with it. There are also hopes of expansion in the future. We're hoping that we can um, take this garden and then have a bigger garden, perhaps on one of the recreation fields that's underused. We're looking for like a farm at school movement where we can have a farm at the school. We have a garden, right? But we're looking at something where we can produce, for example, a lot of lettuce, enough lettuce that um, our school cafeteria uses it in their salad. Like that's it, you know, that we just have enough lettuce for a salad.